Hey everyone, today I wanted to show you a very cool trick with pivot tables in Excel and how to better filter them and, and navigate with them and be able to make them more user friendly. I have this pivot table here that has a lot of data. It has sales data broken down by Canada and then different channels and then the products that were sold under that hierarchy. A lot of data here, very hard to navigate, very hard to see trends and really hard to like deep dive and kind of figure out a comparison between your looking what you're looking to get right. So obviously there's a couple things you can do you know maybe you want to look at it by you can filter by country okay i just want to see so you drop your country criteria in the filter section there and maybe you just want to look at canada sales okay so it's going to filter down by by canada and maybe you want to look at a specific product within canada so you can add that that filter as well and then click okay we just want to look at the the mountain product and it's going to go ahead and filter down even more and so you'll be able to get really that data uh, that you want through filters but there's another very simple way to do this and it's very very user friendly and makes it easy for other people to use so i'm going to go ahead and show you how to create slicers in pivot table basically slicers are just filters that you can click on their little buttons they make it very easy so i'm going to go ahead and just click in the pivot table and then you should on your your ribbon uh, you should see pivot table analyze so you just click on that and then you should see this little button that says insert slicer when you do that it will prompt you to select one or multiple uh, criteria in which you can look at that you can create a slicer so i'm gonna go ahead and, and click segment here and then hit okay and so that's going to give us this little box here we're just going to move it over here for now uh, you can kind of format it how you like and so basically this is just a, a filter for our pivot table so let's say okay i want to look at all of our government sales so all you have to do is is click on government there and then it's going to go ahead and, and update that data in your pivot table and then to get rid of that filter you just click the x button it'll get rid of it bring all the data back let's say we want to to look at some more data so we can click and do insert another slicer so this time let's say we want to filter it by the product and and the country right so we'll just hit okay there and then that's going to generate two more slicers for us so now we can just go and create those slicers kind of format them put them where we want it's not going to matter essentially as you're putting them in you can you can have them anywhere and they will still work but i'm just going to kind of put them over here for ease so now let's say you know we've got our, th our three slicers here and let's just say okay so we want to look at our government sales in germany for our mountain product and that's going to filter it down we can see okay we we had sales in 2013 and 2014 but outside of that we we haven't seen it so maybe we haven't seen sales so let's say okay maybe i want to look at our small business as well so you can just you know hit control select multiple criteria you know let's look at germany and france you know take a, a more comprehensive look at what europe looks like and then we also need to know you know how our our aspen sales went so it's going to sum all of that data together and we'll be able to see all of that in one place so very easy to use very easy to filter this is again if you have colleagues or coworkers who are maybe not as proficient with pivot tables not as experienced in creating filters and being able to manipulate pivot tables this is a very very easy way for you to go in create this um and leave it there share it with them and they can just go in and and click on buttons as they need to and and just look at the data based on pivot tables and then obviously if you need to add data to the table or whatever the back end data is for the pivot table you can do that and this is going to go ahead and update here so i hope this is helpful these slicers are very cool very easy to to organize you know you can just kind of move them around you can if you click on them you, there's there's your slicer it's very easy to uh, change the formatting and the colors of them if you want to select all of them let's say you know we're gonna move this one over here and maybe move this one right there you can just select all of them here and you can click align you can align center it will get them center aligned and then you can distribute uh, vertically so it's going to kind of spread it out make it look really nice and then we can slide them over where we need to so again very slick very useful tool using those slicers with your pivot tables to make data very easy to look at and review and i, I hope this was helpful if you have any questions about uh, slicers and pivot tables please let me know and please remember to subscribe to the Excel guy. Thanks and have a great day.